Hello, I'm Wednesday Adams. Today I'll show you how to get that fresh from the grave glow inspired by the new Tim Burton Wednesday series coming to Netflix. For this, I just need a helping hand. After applying your embalming cream, such as Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, apply a pale foundation to wipe away any signs of a healthy complexion. And now, eyes. No, not that kind of eyes. I'm starting off with a P. Louise Base Prime, followed by a pale skin colored eyeshadow below my eyebrows and the inner corners of my eyes. To make my eyes appear a bit larger, I'm using Note Automatic Highlighter Pencil on my waterline and slightly out on the outer corner. As my transition color, I'm using Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in grey in my crease. They say your eyes are the mirror to your soul. Therefore, use the blackest eyeliner you can find and draw along your top lashes and on the outer corner below your bottom lashes. Smudge them with a cotton bud. Follow up using the ashes of your ancestors or a dark grey eyeshadow such as Bobbi Brown in Steel and do a wash of colour on your lid below the crease, on the outer corner of your crease exaggerating it and where I'm showing you. Curl your lashes and apply mascara. The colour of this mascara makes my stomach turn, so here's a spider to compensate and to inspire you to apply the mascara to look as spidery as possible. Next, eyebrows. Using the Urban Decay Brow Blade, I'm making my eyebrow shape straighter by drawing an additional hairs using the ink side starting with brown, brunette Betty, then going in with blackout. Using both colors will make them appear more natural as only blackout would look too harsh. I'm non-surgically changing my face shape to emulate Jane Ortega, defining my cheekbones, narrowing my jaw and adding a chin dimple. Since this is a makeup tutorial, I feel obliged to tell you a beauty tip that has been in my family for centuries. Make your day as miserable as possible. Smiling gives you wrinkles. Blend everything. For freckles, you could sprinkle on some wet mud from the graveyard, but in this occasion, I'm mixing the brown and white from the Wolf Face Art and FX palette into quite a watery mixture and applying it around my cheeks, nose and up between my eyebrows. Again, we are haunted by this horrible, happy color. I sincerely apologize for inflicting it on you. I'm using this slightly dampened beauty blender to blend the freckles into my skin. Powder over the freckles and contouring using mummy dust or any other face powder you have lying around. For the lips, I'm using a burgundy lip pencil. This is color Quartz by MAC. The shape I'm drawing is full and bow shaped with heavy lower lips. Use a light brown pencil to exaggerate the line going out to the side. And to make the full lips look more real, if you naturally have small lips like mine, draw two lines pointing sideways where I'm showing you, and a line down the middle on your bottom lips to make them more 3D. Pat on some clear lip gloss over the top. If you despise this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to suffer through all my future videos.